Hello, this is Dr. Batal at Batal Plastic Surgery in Beverly Hills, California. And today I'm going to discuss one concept in liposuction, which is the tumescent fluid. First, if we dissect the word liposuction, it means vacuuming the fat. But the fat is not a free-floating fluid that you can just suction. It's a solid tissue. In fact, it is a network of fat cells embedded within a bigger network of fibrous tissue, uh, rich of collagen and elastin, and giving it some uh, structure and consistency. In order for the surgeon to be able to suction the fat, he or she must do the tumescent infiltration. The fluid is developed initially by Dr. Klein, uh, which is uh, a normal saline or ringer lactate uh, with epinephrine, an agent that usually shuts down the blood vessel and, and close them, minimizing the risk of bleeding. If we are using uh, local anesthesia with sedation, then we add the lidocaine into it in a dilute manner, which numbs the tissue, enabling the surgeon to do the, the procedure under uh, either pure local anesthesia or local anesthesia with some sedation. Uh, bicarb is usually added to take the acidity of the uh, lidocaine and minimize the bur burning sensation. And if you ask good amount of the practicing physicians who uses liposuction in their daily use. What are the importance of the tumescent fluid? They will simply answer you is to shut down the blood vessel and numb the, numb the tissue. But what is often neglected by most surgeon, I'm not saying all, by good amount of surgeon, is the main function of the tumescent fluid is hydro dissection. In fact, the most important factor in the whole liposuction to missing fluid is the dissection part of the fluid. Instead of doing a surgical dissection to remove the fat, we are injecting fluid to dissect the fat of the tissue and the structure that it has, that it contains. Therefore, because of the lack of understanding in some surgeons of the necessity and the role or the real role of tumescent fluid, they inject the fluid in one or maybe two plane. But if they do that, they only can actually dissect the fat in those plane, and they only can suction that fat in those planes. That's, that's why I see a lot of patients coming to me after liposuction that is suboptimal. And the reason for that, because liposuction is a tedious, is a tedious operation and the surgeon could get tired and uh, they, they don't know how to navigate the deeper planes. But often uh, it is the uh, underestimation of that concept. They do not hydro dissect the fat. And if you don't hydro dissect the fat, even if you are in that plane, you cannot suction that fat. So the fat is uh, con co consisted of two layers, the superficial layers and the deep layers. They are separated by one layer, especially in the abdomen and the torso, is called the scarpus fascia. That scarpus fascia is a, a layer consistent of a lymphatic tissue and also some fibrous tissue. In the deep plane is necessity to produce the volume effect and also the contouring effect. The superficial plane, uh, especially in a thinner patient, is necessary to produce the high-definition liposuction. I usually target it when I go to the midline or the pararectus area to produce the high sculpture or the etching effect. So we actually almost remove most of the superficial area next to the rectus muscle uh, around the um, uh, oblique area to use the v-shape in the men or also the women so uh, this is a, qu a quick and brief uh, 
delineation of why we use tumescent anesthesia. Even if you're using general anesthesia, you still need to hydrodissect the fat in order to produce a good and effective liposuction. Uh, in the next video, I will be discussing about the type of liposuction, the power assisted, the laser, the vaser, and the, uh, the jet liposuction, and the difference between them and which one uh, could be better or worse. Thank you.